we do equation 1.1 that says uh, so for x in the previous in the previous video we did equation 1.1 Point one. Now we're going to do question and 1.1.2. All right. Um, the question says, uh, solve for x, 3x squared plus 5x is equal to 4. So I'm going to write here question 1.1.2. 3x squared plus 5x equals to 4. Correct to two decimal places. Now I want to give you a hint here. Whenever you, whenever you see an, a statement correct to two decimal places, or uh, leave your answer in the search form. Understand that the equation is uh, a prime equation, means it's not factorizable. So we can solve the equation either by uh, using the quadratic formula or by completing the square. Now, in this situation, we can uh, use a quadratic formula. Uh, quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is given by uh, x equal to uh, minus b plus or minus square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. While the quadratic equation itself is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. That's the quadratic equation. Now, we are going to identify the values of uh, A, B, and then C. Now we're gonna identify them from the equation. Note that because we have like 3x squared plus 5x equal to four, we need to write it in this form exactly in order for us to identify the values of uh, A, B, C correctly. So now what we can do, I'm gonna write 3x squared plus 5x and because it's equal to four, but I want that zero here, and then the constant term over, I'm gonna move the four over. So this will be uh, minus four equal to zero. Now I can see clearly that uh, the value of A is three, the coefficient of X squared. The value of B, the coefficient of X is five. And the value of C, the, co the, the constant term is negative four. Now I will sub these uh, values in the quadratic equation. I mean, the quadratic formula. So minus b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus 4 a c. Okay, all over 2 a. Now let's have in the values of a, I mean of b, because over here it's like negative b. So negative b, b has the value of 5. So I write 5 there plus minus square root of b squared, so five squared, minus four a, a has the value of three, so the coefficient of x squared, a is three, and then c is negative four, the constant term over two a, a which is equal to three. Now it generates two solutions here because of the plus or minus that we see there plus or minus here. One solution will be positive and the other solution will be negative here. Now I wanna do it in my calculator. Okay, uh, over here in the calculator, I have like, uh, uh, I'll go there in my calculator. So we have like negative B. So I sub in the field of B, which is five, plus or minus square root of uh, B squared, so five squared. Minus 4a, a is 3. And then c is um, negative 4 over 2a, so a over 2 times 3. And then, as it is, if a person the calculator, you see, it gives me this answer in the third form. Uh, but um, the question correct to certain decimal places okay as the question applies so in this situation i just i have to press the sd button and it tells me uh some it gives me the number the decimal values now to the second decimal place remember when you when we do decimal places uh we look at the the place values okay uh because i say second decimal place i'm gonna look at the third decimal place which is zero and then the zero is lesser than five then I will stop by 59 here. So the answer will just be uh, x is equal to uh, 0 0.59.
Let's move a little bit this way. Now, on the we saw the other with the negative symbol. Then uh, I'm going to open up my calculator here. I need to change this positive to negative now. Um, Uh, here and then up there, up there. So I change the plus to minus. Now, when you press equal, and then we have this, and then we can just press SD. Now it's negative two, okay, 25, uh, seven. Okay, the third decimal place is seven because seven is more than. Uh, is more than number five. So we increase the five here by one minute. So this will make negative two points. Uh, I can write it here. Negative 2.26, okay. So X will be negative 2.26. So these are the solution. So we can solve this, as I was saying, we can solve this by using the quadratic formula. It can also be solved by completing this square. Okay, uh, let's do by completing this square. Completing this square. Okay, it's when we have like a perfect square, okay? Uh, I just want to abbreviate it like that. Let's say, uh, I don't think this is really, I meant to make a perfect square here, okay. Yes, now, um, it's this is when we find a C, a C value, and then this is equal to B over two to the power of two. Now let me sh show you how you do that. The question is like three X squared plus five X minus four equal to zero. First of all, we need to get rid of uh, this number, negative four, okay? So we're gonna move over on the other side of the equal sign, okay? So now this will be uh, 3x squared plus 5x uh, equal to four. Now we're going to get rid of uh, uh, the number three over here, the coefficient of x squared, because uh, we don't want it, we don't want, we, we can, this is when we can apply this formula, okay? So now if we get rid of the three, meaning we divide the whole equation by three, and then uh, we'll have like x squared plus five over three, x equal to four over three. Now, uh, to complete the square, When I will find a value, okay, because here we only have like two terms, okay, to make uh, a perfect square, we need three terms on the on the left hand side. So on the right, on the right here, x squared plus five over three, x equal to four over three. Now I need a certain value to complete the square with here. So now um, let's look at this. So we have like C equal to, uh, will be equal to B. B is the coefficient of X, okay, B over two. So we have like five over two. No, five over three over two. So it's like five over three over two. Three power of two. And then this will be equal to uh, five over six to the power of two. Okay, let me move my, my board this way, which is uh, 25 over 36. Now I'm going to complete, okay, substitute this value over here. Okay, so I'm gonna add uh, uh, five over six. I know the value of five over six is uh, is uh, 25 over 36, but I prefer to write, you, you understand why, I prefer to write 5 over 6 to the power of 2 here, and then there I'm going to write 25 over 36, because whatever you add on the left, you add also on the right to make your equation uh, uh, the same, okay? So now, uh, at the moment that we place in this value, okay, this is the value that will make the, 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 
the, the equation on the left perfect or perfect squared. So now what I can do, I can just take the basis, uh, the basis x and the five over six only. Now this will be like uh, x plus five over six to the power of two. And someone may say, what, what about this five over three x? Where did it go? Okay, the five over three x is in here in this bracket. If we expand that bracket, you will retrieve, we will, we will retrieve the five over three x. Now, uh, this is equal to, um, we can uh, combine, okay, let me make all this with a common denominator. So it's like uh, four over three. So if I need to get 36, I must times here by 12 and they also, I must times they also by 12, okay? Because I want to have 36 to write the two of them with uh, a common uh, denominator. Then this will be, Um, 48 over 36 plus 25 over 36. So the time that we have a uh, sum denominator, we can just add the numerator, okay? So we can do a uh, 48, um, 48 plus 25. So that makes 73, right? So this is equal to, uh, that makes 73 over 36. So over here we have x plus five over six to the power of two. Now, what we can do then, uh, let me split the board like that. We have uh, x plus five over six to the power of two equal to uh, 73 over 36. So what can do in this situation, uh, we can just uh, square it this side and screw it there also. We can screw it both sides um, because uh, the screw root recast to the power of two. And this will make what? X plus five over six equal to uh, plus minus square root of 73 over 36. Then uh, we can move uh, the five over six over. So this will be uh, X equal to negative five over six plus minus square root of 73 over 36. So this is like square root of 73 over square root of 36. Okay, this makes X is equal to negative five over six plus minus. So that makes square root of 73 over six because uh, you know, we can, we can split this as uh, the property says, uh, uh, square root square root of uh, square root of a over b is the same as root of a over root b. Okay, and then uh, in this situation we can write x is equal to negative five plus minus root seventy three over six, and then we're gonna get the answers that we got over there. X would be equal to zero point fifty nine, or x equal to negative two point um, What's 26? Thank you.